few minutes ago. Okay. She's in for the night. Good. All right. We're gonna see you tomorrow. Okay. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, well, can we at least move you over to the couch? Yeah, please? I was just, I was just gonna get some water and All right. I just. Well, why don't you just take it easy? I, I'm, right? I'm okay. I'm okay. Just sit down, relax. I'll get the water for you. Okay. I just had this photo shoot really early and I didn't get any sleep. That's all it is. I just, I get really nervous and uh, you know nauseous when, when I have to do photo shoots and I just haven't. You're probably dehydrated. Just take small sips. Thanks. Uh, is there anything else I can get you? You want a cheeseburger or something like that? There's a great Italian restaurant down the street on 64th. My cousin works here. They don't normally deliver, but I'm sure I could call in and favor, and I'm sure they do something special for you. <laughs> That's okay. I'll just order some room service. I think I just need to sleep. Right. So. Okay. I will be out in the hall. You know what, uh, Miss Barrett, I don't mean to overstep any boundaries here or anything, but you just passed out. I'm going to feel like a real idiot if I sit out there knowing you're here. Oh, no. Alone. Can I call someone? Uh, not really, no. Friends? Family? Would you mind staying in here with me while I sleep? I mean, I, just I, if you could just stay in here and, and talk. Uh, I, I can't fall asleep unless I am. Um, so I hear somebody talking. One more condition. You let me call my cousin, have him bring over some real food, some of which you actually eat. <laughs> okay. It's a deal. I can wait you out, you know. I've done it before. Don't interrogate me. Look, I am thrilled that you have decided not to be with Sonny. But I'd still like to know why this abrupt change of heart. You didn't want me back with Sonny. Right? And now I'm telling you that I won't be. So you should just take it as a win and move on. You are no day at the beach, Brenda. You're unpredictable, you're temperamental. Thank you. But there's a part of you that is passionate, in the very best sense of the word, and committed, and brave. And I don't know, I, maybe you touch something maternal in me that never got a chance to get expressed. But my instinct is to protect you. I'm not so good at letting people do that. I know that. And if you really want me to butt out, I will. But I'm worried about you. I, this is whiplash behavior, even for you. I, you in, in the matter of a few hours, you have gone from declaring your undying love for Sonny to turning your back on the possibility of any kind of reconciliation. And I can tell by the look on your face, you are deeply troubled. I'd like to help you, if I can. If you'll let me. Sonny just affects me too much. Good and bad. I become obsessed and irrational over him. <laughs> it's like the whole world drops out. Except for him. 
and I just can't handle it. Because I know that I'm gonna lose him. You know, fate isn't always necessarily such a good thing. I think it can lead you to your doom just as easily as it can lead you to joy. And I'm just not up for it. <laughs> I have to get out of poor Charles. Really, really have to get out of poor Charles. Right away. No, you can't do that. Not as long as you're a target for the Balkan. I know that, so I just, I just, I, I have to... I have to come up with a plan. I need a, I need a plan. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go see a friend. Didn't expect to see you today. I am either. Uh, I just, uh, I hope you're not disappointed. No, no, of course not. I've, uh, had a really awful day. It's amazing how seeing you always cheers me up. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you swallowed a chipmunk, man. What's your deal? You don't see it. See what? Brenda's flirting with Jax. How's anything good gonna come out of this? The boss? Mrs. J? Oh, yeah. I see where you're going. God, you're such an idiot. You know, it makes me happy to know that I'm the one you come to. But I might not cheer you up today because I wanted to talk to you about something. I know. I know. That's why I came here. Because the reason I left the other day when we were talking is because I didn't want to talk about Sunny. And I know that you're right about all of that. And I do need to stay away from Sunny. You know, I, I'm, I'm thrilled to know that you want to avoid getting involved with the Sunny. Right, but you think that I'm not going to follow through. Well, no, it's not your fault. See, you were, you were a teenager when you got together with him, and uh, he created all the buttons that he pushes. So naturally, when you see him, you go back to a place of vulnerability. Wow. That was the perfect thing to say to me. <laughs> Where'd you get your psychology degree from again? <laughs> I forget. The school of hard-earned experience. Right, right, right. <laughs> he does it on purpose, you know. That's what makes me so angry. I do know that he's bad for me. You're right about that. You're right. Brenda's looking at Jax like she loves him. What about Mr. C? That's the problem, Nitwit. Brenda loves them both. And Jax and Mr. C hate each other like God hates sin. Train wreck's coming. Mark my words. You're right, this brings up so many old issues for me. I just need to hold on to my resolve while I'm here. Is there anything I can do? Maybe I need a sponsor. <laughs> you mean like a substance abuse program? <laughs> yes! Exactly. Like Sonny's my drug and I need to never use again. Well, you can count on me. I mean, I'll do anything for you. You guys did a really great job today. I had to you were there. Oh, well, it's the idea, Miss Barrett. So you uh, could go down to the lobby and uh, wait because I'm going to turn in for the night. Yeah, of course, but right. uh, we'd love to accommodate you anytime. But being nice. that far removed kind of defeats the purpose. Well, you're going to be able to watch the elevator, which is going to be awesome. Well, you can't tell a bad guy just by looking at him. No, nothing gets past you two. Well, if you swear, you won't leave. I swear. Pinky swear. All right. Lovely pinky. What are you doing? Okay. Listen, uh, if anything, push the, okay? Yeah, I'll push the panic button. Okay. It's gonna be great. Thanks, guys. Right. Okay, see you later. See ya. Bye. <sighs> Hello? Jason! You can... Hi. Hi. Uh, I saw Max and Milo just leave us. Does that mean we're alone? Yeah. I think we need to talk. Yeah. Uh, we should go 
Let's go upstairs. Spinelli, it's me. You got anything on the Balkan? Oh, come on, man. You gotta keep digging. I need something on this guy. I need to neutralize him and get Brenda out of town. All right, just, just keep me posted. Max and Milo brought her back. She's uh, she's up in her room. <laughs> I can't believe your sonny son. I can't believe it. I yeah, can't... I didn't know you had history with son. It's, it's all it is is history now. So you uh you kept the secret. Yeah, of course. I promised I'd keep the secret. Did you? Never said a word. So no one knows but us. It's gotta stay that way. Yeah.